Hey y'all, it's Summer from Hammond's Nest and I have another beautiful project for you today. I'll be using a decorative ribbon that's one and a half inches wide. I'll also be using a decorative knob, two upholstery decorative tacks, and I'll also be using a wooden block that I have cut down to eight inches long and it's made from a two by six. You'll also need some kind of stain, which I'm using a chocolate water-based stain by Minwax. I'm using the Dixie Bells Chalk Mineral Paint in the color Drop Cloth. You'll also need a couple of paint brushes to apply that paint and that stain. And then a staining rag just to wipe back the stain. Some scissors, a hammer. You'll also need some E6000 or some type of industrial glue along with hot glue. You'll also need a drill, where a drill bit is the same size as your decorative knob. And then a ruler and a pencil for some measuring later on. So let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna get my block and apply my chocolate brown stain. Now on this block, I'm going to stain it all around and I'm gonna wipe it back as I'm working on each section. So again, I'm using a water-based stain. I like it because it's low odor, easy to work with, doesn't make as large of a mess. So I'm gonna continue around and as you watch my stain, you might be wondering what we're making. So I'll go ahead and tell you, it's, I refer to them as photo blocks and they're a display block for a four by six photo and it's one of my most favorite projects. Now, the way that I'm gonna show you how to make it, it would only display a horizontal four by six photo, but there are other things besides a photo that we could use this for. So I call it a display block because you can put anything you want to on display. You could put a sweet quote, inspirational quote, scripture, uh, a prayer, your favorite recipe, like a family recipe. It's just a really sweet decorative way to put something on display. And you'll see here as we continue to move along just how cute it is at the end. So the next step after the stain is applied, wiped back and given a few minutes to dry, I'm going to be using kind of a dry brush rustic technique with my drop cloth uh, colored chalk paint. And it's called drop cloth because it has a very similar kind of a little bit of a buttery off white tone to it. And it dries pretty quickly and has a really good like matte kind of distress look, which goes perfectly with my style. But what I love about this project is that you could paint this any color. You could stain this block any color you want. You could use any kind of ribbon. You could use any decorative knob. And it's just has so much room for you to truly make it your own or if you're making it as a gift to make it for someone else. But I'm going with a real distressed look here. And like I said, the reason I stained the whole block is you can see me kind of just lightly dusting. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm offloading my brush a lot as I'm dusting on the paint so it doesn't go on too heavy. So once that's done to my liking, it's time to measure where we're going to put this knob. Now, like I said, my block measures eight inches long. So I'm coming in the middle with a ruler and putting a dot in the center of the board at the four inch mark. Then I'm gonna take my drill, which my drill bit is the same size as my decorative knob, and I'm gonna drill a hole. You may need to get some assistance with this if, if you need or don't know how to operate a drill, but I think it's the best way to make it other than finding just a knob to glue on top. This will make sure that it's made very, very well. Once you have your hole drilled now, it's time to measure your ribbon. So I'm measuring it all the way. I'm gonna barely let it overlap for the length of my block. And then I'm gonna take, find the center of my ribbon strip, put it down there in the middle. I'm working on the front of the block right now. I'm gonna take my decorative tacks and get them as close as I can to the edge without getting too, too close. You have a little room to wiggle around there how you do it. But then you're gonna take your hammer and lightly, lightly tap in that decorative tack. Now there are a lot of kind of decorative tacks out there too, so this is something you could put your own twist on. I do like to make sure that the ribbon is nice and taut because it will hold the photo. And then what you're gonna do after you secure that with the two tacks, you'll wanna take some light uh, hot glue and just kind of work your way around. I just kind of go in a zigzag and I'm just kind of lightly tapping it down and pressing it down and pulling it tight as I go too. And you can just see me there securing it when you get to where it's overlapping a little bit. And I like to have that good center and then I just snip off any extra. 
So there you go so far. So you see your, your ribbon is just tight enough. So once you've done that, it's time to put on your decorative knob. Now there, these decorative knobs, I picked mine up at Hobby Lobby and I like because they have the screw attached to them, but you don't need all the extra stuff that comes on them. So I took all that off. I made sure that my knob fit all the way down. The next thing is gonna be get some E6000 glue inside of that hole, but then take your knob and push it down in there because this is a slow setting glue, so it's not gonna dry. And then you want your quick setting glue to hold everything in place. So a couple little dabs of hot glue, and then stick that knob in there, twist it around, get that glue all mixed and good, and let it sit. So how beautiful and simple is that? So your photo would go in the front there, your tacks, you wanna make sure they're wide enough apart that the four by six photo would fit down in there. And like I said, I picked this knob up at Hobby Lobby and these are just the other few. I always keep a bunch of these on hand. So you really could make this your very own. This is my sweet little family. I'm gonna show you how this kind of sets down in there just like that. And one of my favorite parts of this craft is just all the different variations you could do to make it your very own. Make one for yourself or make one as a gift. As you can tell, it's truly special. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today. Y'all keep following Hammond's Nest for more ideas just like this one. Bye, y'all.